Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go quick look product review. And this time we're looking at the Tojiro. It's a single bevel. It's the Shidogami or White Number no. 2 Yanagiba 240mm knife. So the core steel is a um, reactive high carbon steel from Hitachi known as Shidogami or White Paper Number no. 2. Heat treat's not specified on the site, but approximately 61 ish, 62 Rockwell should be where it is. The construction is a two layer. Uh, set up with the right side of the blade. This is a right-hand person oriented uh, knife, a single bevel chisel grind on the right side, uh, not for lefties like me. But uh, anyway, this has softer iron cladding on the right side of the blade covering the core steel, and you can see the core steel at the edge here. And on the left side of the blade, they do wrap it over the spine and bring it a little bit over the top, and then you see the core steel mainly showing through on the left side of the blade. The left side of the bait is basically flat with a slight concave grind to it, known as an Uda, and you sharpen the left side of the blade by basically putting it flat on the stone and abrading it, and what should happen is the perimeter steel is what gets abraded away, and that concave shape there is to help food release, and it flow through uh, the types of products that you normally cut with this style of knife. The right side of the blade has a uh, chisel or single bevel to it that goes all the way down basically to the edge. These out of the box do come with a small micro bevel on the right side of the blade. And it looks like they did it right on the left side of the blade and just ground it straight down. This one wasn't super sharp out of the box. It was sharp in about a front third of the blade, but the back half wasn't too sharp or so. Um, so I went ahead and, you know, uh, I did a little bit more with the micro bevel on the left because I didn't want to start messing with the blade road and get into that, but then I sharpened a little on the back, cleaned up the front, cleaned up the back a little bit, and got it nice and sharp. So uh, the good thing is this uh, Shidogami number 2 sharpens up really well. In terms of, let's see here, specs, this one's about uh, 131 grams or 4.6 ounces, 232 millimeters on the edge from the tip to the chin, and about, um, uh, about 14 and 3 quarters for the whole knife as far as uh, length goes. The spine thickness, about 2.8 millimeters, and it pretty much just holds that all the way through until you hit the grind. So you can kind of see that chisel grind on the front part of there. And we already, I don't know if I showed it there yet, but on the back you got a chisel type grind. The blade height, about 30 or so millimeters. The handle is a D-shaped right hand oriented handle with a just basic hoe wood and a resin ferrule. This ferrule has kind of a softer rubbery feel rather than a hard plastic feel. And you do have a little bit of a jump there between the wood and the ferrule. That's pretty common on this style of handle. It's just a basic no frills handle. Circumference is about 64 millimeters or two and a half inches right here where the front of the wood is. And the handle installs on these is a traditional style install. Uh, this is known as a machi or maki. It's basically some of the tang showing in the front. And the reason that's there is traditionally if the handle loosens up, you can whack it on a little bit more and you got a little room to get the handle pushed on a little bit further. So it's there kind of for a maintenance aspect, but it looks pretty cool as well. And that's a traditional style. There's nothing wrong with the way this handle's installed. Here's a close-up look at the blade. So they've got a sandblasted kind of frosted blade road. You've got the core steel showing at the edge. And then you've got some chiseled kanji. On this side, so that's pretty cool. Left side of the blade, again plain. You got the perimeter steel being abraded away as is appropriate. A little bit of holdover on the cladding, covering the spine. Um, this one is pretty straight out of the box. You got to watch these out of the box and just give a good look at them. Um, I like to sight down the edge and sight down the front. Um, make sure they've got no major undulations, low spots, high spots, any of that kind of stuff. But this one's pretty straight out of the box. Sometimes with the lower price ones, you really want to get a look at them, really with any single bevel, we'll get a good look at them right out of the box. And if you have one with an issue, best not to use it. And Mark's great on customer service. So if um, you get one from Chef Knives to Go and it might have some issues or you suspect it, you may take some pictures or talk with Chef Knives to Go people. And they're pretty good about exchanging if you think you got something that has some issues. So, But always inspect these things before you start using them. Here's what a cutting board view looks like if you're so inclined as to do some tasks that might be done on a board. Although that's not the traditional use for this, it's more of a slicer, of course. 
So there you have um, just a good entry level um, option if you're looking for a traditional single bevel slicer, a Yanagiba. So this is the Tojiro Shidogami or White Number 2 Yanagiba 240 millimeter knife.